again, we just want to welcome everybody and uh, welcome you all. And uh, this is um, this, this this is our program. This is the first program that has been hosted by Aiken. Um, is that correct, um, Omanola? That is correct. Uh, it's the first program that has been uh, uh, hosted by Aiken, the uh, virtual program. You know, with uh, with COVID, you know, everybody has you know had to find a way to. Uh, kind of, you know, tweak things a little bit and then, you know, try to accommodate, you know, with uh, these uh, times that we are going through with COVID. So, you know, this is our first time uh, hosting something like that. And then, you know, we already, we are very excited. And then, you know, we have already seen that, you know, there's a lot of people that are tuning in. That's awesome. Uh, please uh, do ask she, uh, use the chat, you know, if you guys have any questions, you guys have, you know, any uh any question that you know you would like to ask or you know if you have like an input by all means please uh, use the chat and then you know we are also live on our facebook uh where uh you know you guys can participate you know we want to make this event you know as lively as possible this is like a conversation uh type of event you know to just you know get to uh converse with each other and then you know just have a nice evening all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Like she said, would like everybody to tune in and please let us know where you are chiming from at this moment. We will be chiming over to um, uh, to our cool lighting and let us sit back and um, at this moment. And thank you very much. So at this moment, we are going to uh, introduce uh, Mrs. Uh, Shepa. Uh, Ishu Luktak, who's going to conduct us in the uh, lightning of the collect. ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。うん。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
And this, uh, we just want to thank our our elder um, for for um, the 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 cool lighting. We would like to uh, to appreciate that to offer and our our thanks um, at this moment. And also, this is a multicultural um, celebration, and we are holding it online again. And thank you and welcome you all, uh, welcoming you all, uh, those who are close and those who are far. We will be going through a, a jam-packed session for the next uh, few um, uh, few hours. And at this moment, uh, we also would like would like to um, to stand with our indigenous uh, community and our First Nations of Canada yeah, as. Um, as they are going through um, uh, this difficult time. And we just wanna let them know that we are here. We are here for you. We are here to stand with you. And also to know no, that, that, that um, uh, uh, we, we are praying. We are praying, we are praying and, and sending positive thoughts. And for whatever you are going through, we do understand as a people, when one hurts, all hurt. And we just wanna thank you. We just wanna thank you for allowing us being here as we have just had our colleague lighting from yeah. our elder. Over, over to you, Omanola. Nous, nous voulons vous dire merci. Nous sommes encore honorés ce soir d'avoir le privilège d'être cordialement accueillis dans vos maisons pour célébrer la diversité que nous offre le Canada. Nous demandons euh, de vous mettre à l'aise, d'aller chercher vos pop-corns, d'aller chercher vos sodas, euh, parce que nous allons avoir du plaisir. Nous avons euh, les artistes euh, qui vont nous euh, enjailler, qui vont euh, nous, nous donner du plaisir. Euh, L'Association des Africains et Peuples des Caraïbes du Nunavut aussi aimerait euh, prendre cette opportunité pour dire que nous sommes demain avec euh, les peuples des Premières Nations. Euh, pendant ces temps difficiles, nous leur apportons des pensées positives. Par, euh, à travers, pendant ces, temps, euh, ces moments difficiles euh, qu'ils sont en train de traverser, uh, dû aux présentes découvertes des vestiges des enfants des écoles résidentielles. Uh, nous sommes tous un peuple, là, quand uh, un frère a mal, c'est comme si nous avons mal aussi. Et nous voulons juste dire que nous, uh, nous sentons leur douleur et que uh, nous continuons à porter le peuple inuit, les Premières Nations, les Métis, dans nos pensées, uh, puis dans nos prières. Merci, uh, Cabello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome you all. Welcome everybody. At this moment, we would like to invite our uh, acting president for Aiken um, to come and uh, grace the attendees and grace this occasion. At this moment, we'll be tuning over to uh, Mr. Begin uh, Kumalo. And um, if you can go ahead, please, uh, let us hear it from, from you. Good evening, everybody. I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, to this event is the first of this kind, uh, but definitely, like I said, it's the first, meaning that there is more to come. I want to thank you so much, um, Alistair P, for that beautiful uh, session there as you were uh, going through the process of the Kulik Lighting. Um, Aiken is proud to, to bring this jam session uh, to you today. Yes, we had hoped that it was going to be live, but all the same, we all understand COVID-19 restrictions kind of got us to where we are. We are now going virtual. But one thing that I know for sure is we are going to enjoy this. And I hope that we will be getting more and more uh, suggestions on other things that uh, we can actually do so that we can connect more and more often. I want to also thank everybody who has just joined in, those from within uh, Nunavut and those outside Nunavut. Uh, some, I'm not so sure, they may be connecting from other countries. We want to welcome you. I want to also uh, welcome our leader and honorable uh, Margaret uh, Nakashuk, and I'm sure she will be gracing us with some knowledge in a few, but I want to just let you know that we have our Minister of Culture and Heritage uh, with us today. Uh, not forgetting our mayor himself, that will be Bell. Uh, Mr. Kenny Bell will be also uh, saying something to us. We want to welcome you. I want to also want to thank uh, everybody, knowing that we love our elders. There's nothing as beautiful as having elders around you because they, they, they shape you. They, 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 they give you knowledge. They give you some wisdom. 
And so I was so happy to see uh, Grandma working through her thing there with the acrylic lighting. I was definitely blessed, and I hope you were blessed too. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I could be here for time and time again, but I want to say to those that do not know who Aiken is, um, we are, uh, in, a, in a way, a handshake to life. And I want to say that uh, one may think, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, our our symbol as well shows well, so a handshake. It is a, a community that works for the community. As Aiken, we love to give back. You understand that we are in the north and we are in the land of the Inuk. And they have welcomed us here. And with all that we have, we love to also give back to show our appreciation and our love for being where we are in this land. Yes, I know that uh, one of um, our presenters here did mention a tough time. Yes, we are mourning with you. We are mourning with you. Every time we hear this sad uh, news or all these developments, I want you to know that we are with you in prayer, in thoughts, and we are there to hold your hand. Then our logo shifts the, the, the angle to the ones that are pulling up. So we would love to pull up, to pull you up as much as we can. Let us know and we will be there. Even if it means I have to come and just clean your house, if that would make you uh, uplift your, your voice or your spirit, I will be there to do that. And that is Aiken. And we are also looking at our social lives. We like to have social things. That's like we have rights today. This is a social event, but we have other things as well that we deal with, with the business side. And uh, like I said, I will be here for a, a year and a year and a half just explaining who we are. But what I want to say uh, is welcome and welcome. Enjoy with us. We love you. That's Aiken. Over to you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And that was Mr. Begin Kumalo, um, the president of Aiken, and gracing us with his, uh, um, with his thoughts and uh, trying to give us just a sneak preview of what and who Aiken is. And as keeping up with the same spirit of elders and respect, there is no any other way I would usher the continuity or a segue into our program other than calling this um, lady. Um, this is a local artist who is uh, based out of uh, Iqaluit, Nunavut. Her name is um, her name is Francesca Mandea. It's somebody I've gotten to know closely and I've known her passion towards uh, her cause and what she stands for. I am not going to talk much about her. I would like to give her this opportunity to grace us with her um, uh, with her thumb piano. Oh, most of us know it as Mbira, but she will be gracing us shortly. And at this moment, I'm just gonna call upon uh, Miss uh, Francesca Mandea to take the stage and we'll continue after your song. Over to you, Ms. Monday. <clears throat> Oh, 
This is the song that I opened with. It's a song that was sung by Zimbabweans when they celebrated being independent from colonial rule. Thank you. Merci thank, thank, you very, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Obviously, we can't see, we can hear the sound. That's the unfortunate part of um, the system that we're using, but we can hear the, 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 the instrument that you're playing. And um, I don't know if you're able just to lift it up. I don't know if it's connected onto your, um, onto your system there. Okay, okay, if you can turn it in so that we can all see it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is what she was uh, playing. It's called Beer. Can you please give us just a sneak preview? Please get us into that instrument. Let us know what is it. What is that instrument that you're playing? Mbira uh, comes in many forms. The one that I'm playing is Nyunga Nyunga. Um, it's a 15 key Mbira. We have the deep Mbira uh, Zavadzimu, the ancestral spirits. That the one that is mainly used to someone ancestral spirits. This one is used to do the same, but we have one that's specifically meant to summon the, the, the spirits. Uh, so Mbira is sacred, Mbira is spiritual. It heals, it's used to, to uh, call the ancestors when they are problems. Um, the Gwenya Mbira, the player of the Mbira, goes to play and they they call the ancestors and they come in the form of uh, spirit mediums and they communicate messages of healing, messages of prophecy. Um, Bira is also used in celebration, weddings, funerals, depending on what is going on. Uh, so for me, it, it means a lot because when I was thinking that I was not worth living and I wanted to take my life, Bira is what saved my life. I dug deep into who I was and I found myself grounded in my culture. And I composed a song called Mbira Zangu Ma Mbira. And it grounded me and made me never to go back to that stage where I thought my life was worth nothing when I was in emotional difficulty. So I played to heal myself. I played to heal others. My children introduced me to Mbira, not the other way around. So my ancestors sent my children to tell me play that thing. So I value it very much. That's how deep it is for me. Thank you. Uh, so just to, just a quick question there. You're talking about ancestors and worship. So then, what if I want to play it in church? Uh, is this? something that I can play in church or not? Because you are talking about the ancestors, maybe somebody else may not uh, be of the same kind of worship uh, system as you are. So would you kind of let us know, then how, how does that, how, is there a particular one that we can play in a different, in different environments? Yes, uh, much later I'll play my own compositions which are not linked to any uh, spiritual practice but I use it to sing songs to God. Um, so yes, you can play the Mbira in church these days. However, there was a time in our lives as Zimbabweans when Mbira was deemed evil uh, by Christianity. So you could not be playing Mbira as well as worship. It was evil and so it was banned. So we have since uh, been reclaiming it. And for your own information, women were not um, seen playing Bira, it was a male territory. But as we reclaim it and reclaim who we are, um, it has become open to be played by women, to be played in schools, to be played in church. Um, so yes, this is what comes with them, Bira. Um, you can play it in church. 
Well, we can't wait to hear what next what's next coming. But we just want to shout out to I see Sister Gladys Williams there tuning in from Ottawa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. You can wave to the people. Um, I've known this lady for a while, and there's only one thing that this lady I know of, she loves to laugh. She loves to laugh and smile, and her laugh is contagious. But anyways, tonight we are here to gather as a family, all coming from all over. I see Mr. Doug is ready to go, and I, I see Malin Springer right there attending, and your worship, I, I know you are you are there tuned in. We'll be having you shortly at this moment. We're going to turn it back to you, uh, Francesca. Please go ahead and give us um, what you have in store for us again. So <laughs> I'm just going to sing it rather than talk. Boroi makadini sali bonani linjani ni macheroni makwachini muri wapi here boroi Makadini sali wanani linjani di macheroni mafachini muri wabi hire bonjour hello can we be bonjour hello can we be boroi makadini sali wanani linjani di macheroni Mapachini muri wapi here. Hey, here. Como estas? Mi hao, jambo. Como estas? Mi hao, kabari. Shalom, namaste, konnichiwa. Ula, alo, ciao. Boroi, magadini, sali bonani, linjani, di macheroni, mafachini, muri wapi, yere. God is good. Allah is good. The Creator is good. Buddha is good. Whoever you believe in is good. I'm going to sing God is good now in my language. Mari makana Bona mari makana ka, ende mari makana ka, chuma mari makana ka, inga mari makana ka, bona mari makana ka, ende mari makana ka, chuma mari makana ka, mudimu lukile, mudimu lukile, mudimu lukile, mudimu Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was Miss Francesca. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So um, we will have we have people tuning in. Let's just make some shout shout outs right now. Somebody from Windsor just chimed in, and Bonisi is saying thank you very much. You just made me. What do you know? What do you know? Zimbabwean sound, awesome. So that's, that's, that's the comment from Bonisi from all the way from Windsor to you, Francesca. He's appreciative uh, of what you're doing because you just took it. I think you just gave him a ticket home uh, musically without him getting into, into your plane right now. And we have um, Manitoba in the house. Obviously, we have people from uh, Perth, Ontario. 
uh, tuning in. And we do have um, somebody from um, Maryland. Maryland, I saw somebody from Maryland, United States, and we just wanna thank you very much. And also, ladies and gentlemen, those who are online, if you want to chime in and connect with Francesca right now, if there is any question you want to ask, please pose, this, pose that question onto our chat room so that we can talk to her, we can ask her, we can ask her. And um, we can ask her, she can answer um, uh, the, 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 where she's going, where she's coming. And also I noticed that there is a, there's a poster behind you, behold thy son. Um, what is that about, uh, 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 Francesca? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, mother, so behold my son. My space. Now I can give it space. I wanted to. Yeah, so so Mother Behold Thy Son is a book that I wrote and published in 2019. Um, being a mother with one son and two daughters, and having been born uh, girl number three, the succession of girls, where my mother named me Daisy Way, had I known that I would give birth to yet another girl. Had I known that I would fail to produce an heir. So she called me Daisy Way. I was born into that family where a boy was expected. And it dawned on me that I was born already unequal and uh, to the energy of you are not enough. And so many things that happened in my life pointed that girl children were not valued. And we know that in many cultures, societies tend not to value girls the same as boys. So as a mother raising their kids and having gone through this journey where it was full of thorns as a, as a girl child and as a woman and becoming a mother, I wanted my children to have a different experience, especially my son. So I chose to tell my story, very vulnerable to my son. This is what happened to me. Son, when you relate with women, if you treat them this way, they are going to feel so. So I wanted to educate my son not to be a toxic male and my girls to know that they have a voice, not only a voice, they have a choice to be whoever they want to be. So mother behold thy son, yeah, is a message to all children and in, in the, our African culture, my child is your child, your child is my child. Um, so I wrote it for my son, thank you very yes, much. and my daughters, no and Zanili, yes, but it's for our children to do better than we did because now we know better in terms of social justice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, Ms. Francesca Mandea. And uh, you know, is there any way people can get hold of this book? Where can people buy this book? Is this available somewhere? It's available on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and uh, yeah, and uh, Walmart, I think. Yeah, so you can go on Amazon, get the Kindle version or the paperback version for 20, about 20 Canadian dollars or 15 US dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. I will just give you a pause right there. I don't know if uh, you want to, you have an extra song or not, just to send us out right now. Uh, is there a song that you have, or do you have some of, uh, just one of the rhyme, rhyme on, your, on, your, on, your, on your thumb piano right there, just to give us, uh, to give us a transition right there. Are you able to do that for us? <laughs> I wonder which one. I have a serious one though. It's very, it's what, it was my very us. first song on Vida with my daughter. Yeah, so yeah. It's called Mvuram Chipatara. Can you hear me? Water in the hospital. Yes, we can. Please. Yeah, no water in Go the ahead. hospital. <laughs>
Merci beaucoup, Madame Mandela. Oui, yeah, yeah. That was beautiful. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. That was such a beautiful rendition. Thank you very much for uh, introducing us to your culture, introducing us to uh, your music. Uh, C'était vraiment bien. Merci beaucoup. Um, à présent, nous allons uh, passer à un artiste uh, qui vient de l'Afrique du Sud. Son nom, c'est Cabello Mokela. Et uh, Cabello Mokwela a grandi avec sa maman, puis sa maman uh, la, lui a montré et a enseigné comment jouer au piano. Et puis aussi, il a, uh, il a aussi appris à jouer uh, au piano en, à, à l'église. Fait que, il a une uh, rendition pour nous. Le titre, c'est Go Light Your World. Puis uh, nous allons accueillir uh, Monsieur Cabello Mokwela, s'il vous plaît. a candle in every soul, some brightly burning, some dark and cold, oh, there is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his own. So carry your candle into the darkness Seek out the hopeless, confused and torn Don't hold out your candle, we're wrong to see Take your candle, go light your world 
take your candle, go light your world. Frustrated brother, frustrated brother, see how he's trying to light his own candle in some other way. Hey, hey, hey. See now your sister, she's been robbed and lied to. Still holds a candle without a flame. So carry your candle into the darkness. Seek out the lonely, the tired and worn. Hold out your candle for all to see. Take your candle, go light your world. Hell, take your candle, go light your world. Cause we are family whose hearts are blazing. So let's just raise our candles into the light and light up the sky. Pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. Make us a beacon in the darkest times. Oh, so carry your candle into the darkness see God be hopeless deceived and poor hold out your candle for all to see it. take your candle and go light a well oh carry your candle into the darkness Seek of the hopeless Confused and torn oh, Hold out your candle For all to see Can Take your candle And go light it well Take your candle Go Turn it over to my friend uh, Amanola over the other side uh, to, to to take us over. And thank you very much. And we do know that the number is not 215 anymore for um, for uh, for what is going on within our indigenous community. We know the number has gone up. And like we say, we stand with you. We are here for you. We are here to be with you. We do sympathize. We know the pain you're going through. We know, we know, we know, and we are here to be with you, to walk with you on this matter and to stand with you. It, it is a rough road. It is a tough road. It's a painful, it's a cold night out there. You cannot do it alone. We are here. We are your friends. We are your neighbors. We're here to stand with you. Uh, over to you, Omanala. Yes, thank you, Cabello. That was, uh, I just wanted to uh, give you a shout out and say that was a very beautiful uh, song. Thank you. And uh, yes, as you say, you know, when uh, the video was made, you know, the number was 215 and it has increased. And then, you know, we are standing with our brothers and sisters uh, 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 for the First Nation Aboriginal and Metis. And, you know, like we usually like to say in uh, Aiken, Aiken lifts you up. When you are hurt, we are hurt. And then, you know, like uh, the acting president said in uh, his opening speech, you know, we are here. If there's anything that we can do, we are just, you know, just let us know and then, you know, we do it. And we actually really mean it. Yeah, so thank you for that. Uh, at this time, we are going to continue with our program and uh, we would like to acknowledge our sponsors, uh, the uh, government of Nunavut, the Department of uh, Culture and Heritage, and also uh, the uh, Patrimoine Canadien. Nous voulons à ce moment aussi dire merci à nos sponsors, 
au euh, Patrimoine Canada et puis euh, au ministère de la Culture du Patrimoine du gouvernement du Nunavut. Uh, we would also like to, at this time, to welcome the uh, Minister of uh, the uh, of Culture and Heritage, uh, Mrs. Uh, Margaret Nakasho. Okay. Good evening. Thank you for having me and thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure and honor to be invited to this event this evening through ACAN. Um, as a lot of you have probably have mentioned, uh, I'm not sure if this just started in the event right now or if it's been going on, but I just logged in. So I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you um, for putting this together. It's unfortunate that I can't, we can't do this personally except through virtual, but it's great to be part of it. As we know in the society that we live in today, it is sometimes very hard to understand where we fit in the society, in this world. And with all that's been happening that we hear of on the news or on social media, there's a lot of negativity that we hear of. And sometimes it could be very tiring for the soul and very tiring for a lot of us. Um, but even during that time, we need to look at ourselves as to where we come from, who we are, and see our culture and use our language because that is the strength that we ha all have. I, I, I know um, sometimes in this world, we see a lot of uh, negative uh, feedback about our culture or our language and but in reality we have a very rich culture we see our youth learning how to make things um, learn about songs learn about throat singing learn about making traditional clothing such as amautic and as you know, in the recent times, there's been a lot of news about bodies being found in, in the residential schools in the southern, southern cities. And that itself has reminded us that our culture was to, was to be depleted. The language, the culture, but it is during those times that in our culture, our people were singing, our people were praying and they kept practicing and we kept, they kept speaking the language even though it was forbidden. And in a lot of ways, our culture is very similar to Africans. During such times as oppression to any culture, we have heard of cries, songs of Christ, songs of victories, songs of our languages. And I find that in Inuit history, that is very similar to our brothers and sisters in Africa. To be invited to this event, it is very touching. The ANAC, uh, the African Caribbean Association of Nunavut, I know are quite active in our territory, especially in the main area of Iqaluit. It is, it's great to see, and we need to continue to recognize your culture, your language, and teach us more about your language through music in Nunavut, because we all strive to learn more. We all need to be reminded how kind we all must be through our language, through our music, through all our culture, and not be ashamed of who we are or where we come from. So I thank all of you for partaking in this and inviting me to be part of it. Uh, I hope this uh, evening is very successful. And um, like I mentioned, I, I'm looking forward to being um, partaking in more events with the community. Thank you.
Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister uh, Nakashuk. We really, really appreciate your presence. Uh, we thank you very much for gracing us with your presence out of your busy schedule. As we say, we are here as your allies. We are here to stand with you no matter what happens. If anybody hurt in the community, we also hurt. Just want to let you know that as Aiken, as uh, people in Iqaluit, as people live, living in Nunavut, we come with the spirit of Ubuntu which is a spirit of humanness or humanity that we are all one we are all one we look at the human the human family we do not see any uh pigmentation or skin tonation or whatever differences we are we stand as humans at this moment we thank you again we really really thank you from the bottom of my heart of all of our hearts for gracing us and also for supporting these programs the department of uh department of uh, uh culture and heritage has always supported our 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 programs and we thank you again we thank you very much for gracing us um with that uh with that note we are going to move on with our program and um at this moment, we will be calling on um, Brenda Anderson. Brenda Anderson will be taking uh, stage at this moment. And uh, with that said, we will be tuning in. Uh, we'll be moving over to the control room to see uh, what they have for us uh, uh, from Brenda Anderson. I don't know, before we do that, Amanola, do you have anything to, to throw in there? No, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just uh, give a shout out to, you know, people that are connecting from all over the world. I know, you know, you've mentioned uh, Maryland in the state, uh, you know, uh, from Ontario, from Winnipeg, and, you know, it's just amazing. It just, you know, goes to show that, you know, the diversity that uh, Canada offers us. Yeah. Hi. Thank you very much. Hi. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just going to mute myself on the phone. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. There's a little bit of an echo. Um, right, we can hear much. you, though. Okay. So my name is Brenda Anderson. I'm from Rankin Inlet and I'm 22 years old. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Brenda. Thank you very much. That was amazing, amazing. Uh, just wanted to ask you one question, Brenda. Where can we get your music? Uh, do you have a recording? What? Do you have? Um, uh, where can okay, we get your music? So, yeah, I have a song on YouTube. Sorry, I could really hear myself. Um, so I have a song on YouTube called "Piso Katigin Nakbagi." I was thinking of singing the song. Um, after this one, so if you guys want to hear it, it's on YouTube. Um, okay, give us give us the next one. Let's uh, let's hear it. Um, let's hear I'm it. Also, I also uh, wrote that song that I just performed. It's posted on Instagram, and it'll be out sometime this year. I'm also um, writing an album that's coming out next year. So. Is there significance on that song? Is there a particular reason why you chose that song? Or is there any message in it? What does it What does it mean? Because some people may not be aware or people not be familiar with Inuit music, uh, but or arts. Can you please let us know what, 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 what's the message behind the song? My message behind the song is like, um, so I really love throat singing. And I think it's just like another way for me to um learn so i've been throughout singing since i've been about five or six years old and i really enjoy it and yeah just to keep it alive it's just something that i love <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait to hear for you to hear your next song but before you go and just want to let all you right. know that aiken aiken has to has to put all these artists on under one roof and we want to hear an afro inuit Fusion. This is for the president of Aiken. I know he doesn't know that, but I'm saying this right now. But please, Brenda, uh, please give us a give us a, give us a tune. Okay. All right. So this song is called Peso Khadigi Nyak Begeso. Get up, get up, let me paint you like a rainbow, won't you? Stand up, stand up, Peso Khadigi Nyak Begeso. Hey now, hey now, I hate to see you sad, I see. Go on, go on, you can talk to me anytime. I know, I know, everything will be alright. I'll be right here through the sun and the rain. I see Johnny Lana. This is all we have cherished what's life. Love is all around. Love is around. Love is all. If we fall backwards, we will move forward. If we are down, don't give up, don't give up. Wake up, wake up. There will be brighter days and move on, move on. Where there will come the waves, the stars will light the sky. When it's dark, we will try. If this is all we have cherished, what's left? Love is all around. Love is all around, love is all. If we fall backwards, we will move forward. If we are down, don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up. Thank you. Thank you, very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brenda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was our our artist from uh, Rankin Inlet, and her name is Brenda Anderson.
Thank you very much, Brenda. And please make sure that you also look for her music on YouTube. It's also a moment for us to support our artists in um, out of Nunavut as well. Let also, right now, I know people are tuning in from all over the world. Please let's share this music. Let's share the art. Let's share the art. Let's share, let's share the art. The theme for the for the event is uh, our multiculturalism. We take action for better. This is Aiken. Uh, which is the Canadian uh, Canadian Multiculturalism uh, Day celebration? This is the first of its kind, and I didn't so I didn't I didn't say the only. There's more to come. There's more in store, ladies and gentlemen. As we stand, as we sit, as we talk, as we broadcast right now, we are live out of Ikhalwe. At this moment, we would like to introduce His Worship, our Mayor Kenny Bell. He is. Our mayor out of Ikalovich. At this moment, I don't need to read his resume. You know what a mayor can do. You know who a mayor can be, and you know what a mayor is. At this moment, we'll be calling on his worship, um, Mayor Kenny Bell, to please grace us. Thank you very much, everybody. I, you know, it's hard to uh, follow up, uh, Brenda. That that was some amazing music there, and uh, Francesca too, uh, as well. There's, uh, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a welcoming speech, but I'm an hour in here, and I'm in awe of all the music already. So, uh, thank you so much for coming. Um, you know, we're talking about multiculturalism. Of course, uh, Ikalwood has been growing uh, substantially over the last 20 years since uh, Nunavut began. Um, you know, when I grew up here as a little kid, it was only 2,300 people, and now we're, uh, you know, around 8,300 to 9,000 people, and of course there's uh, many different races uh, and cultures uh, in Ikalawood now, which is a beautiful thing to see. Uh, we're constantly learning and constantly uh, moving together. Uh, like you've said uh, many times before, uh, we are standing with Indigenous people. Uh, I'm calling on my non-Indigenous, non-people non, uh, of color, uh, my, my white brothers and sisters across the world to continue to stand uh, with Indigenous uh, and people of color uh, across uh, our world and to make our world a better place. Um, is the only way we're ever going to move forward is if we're all together and we're all strong and we all uh, thrive together. So um, I'm really happy to see this multicultural event. And I'm looking forward. I can't wait till we're allowed to be in person and we can all just get up and dance and have fun uh, together. So, um, you know, thank you very much. And I'm and again, I'm looking forward to next year, but uh, I'm going to stay on for a little while here and keep on uh, listening to this great music. So thank you so much for inviting me. And uh, I look forward to another event. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you very much, um, uh, uh, Your Worship, uh, uh, Mayor um, uh, Kenny Bell. We definitely, we definitely would like to see you and have you and host you live. And we just want to thank you as well because uh, uh, the city of Hallowit has stood with us on other programs that we host and, uh, and has supported us. And uh, the next one, you know, I always throw people on stage. So uh, the next event would like you and Councilman Shepherd to really grace us. I mean, you know, a tune or two. So I think we'll hold you on that one. I, I, I don't need you to respond. But just to let you know, that's exactly what's going to happen. But we just want to thank you very much, uh, Mayor Bell, uh, for being um, uh, for being part of this program. At this moment, I will I will hand it over to uh, o, o Manolo. Thank you, uh, Cabello. Thank you, uh, Your Worship, uh, Mayor Bell. At this time, we are going to welcome Mr. Jeff Peacock. Uh, Mr. Jeff Peacock is uh, a piano teacher. Uh, he also plays guitar. He, uh, he composes, he uh, chooses, and he performs, So uh, and he lives in a carrot. So at this time, we're going to welcome uh, Mr. Jeff Peacock. Hi, this is Jeff Peacock. I'm here to play some guitar for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
and gentlemen and um no any other words could follow that and there's nothing much i can say and just say wow 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 and i I'm, I'm i'm just i'm just amazed this gentleman this man is so amazing he's so talented i've i've seen him play i've heard him play different times and i can i can't i can't stop wanting to hear more uh, over to you omanola I feel the same way. It's just, uh, it was just beautiful. It was amazing. Nous voulons encore une fois remercier nos sponsors, Patrimoine Canadien et le département de la culture et du patrimoine du gouvernement du Nunavut. We uh, want to thank our sponsors again who have made this uh, event possible, Heritage Canada and the culture and heritage of the um, government of Nunavut. Uh, so at this time, uh, our next uh, artist does not need any introduction. Uh, I'm going to uh, present to you guys, uh, Mr. Uh, Cabello. Oh, <laughs> 
and he, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Hush, my darling, and he, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Hey, hey. Young, 
Besas da sumbua roho yang Nami ni fanyeje Nami ni fanyeje Kijana mwezi yo Nasi mwana mali sinda uwe Ninga kuo wa malaika Anashi ngwana mali sinda uwe Nenga kuko wa malaika Pesa za sumbu wa roo yango Nami na chifanyeje kakijana mwenzio Na shingwa na mali sinaiwe Ninga kuwa malaika Na kupenda malaika Malaika Na kupenda malaika Niga kuwa na mali we Niga kuwa dada Nasi nwa na mali sina we Nengu kuko wa malaika Nasi nwa na mali sina we Nengu kuko wa malaika Wow, that was uh, that was beautiful. That was amazing. Uh, Cavello, I just have a question. Was that you? Because I wasn't sure. I just I figured I'll ask you at the end. It looked like you, but I wasn't sure. That 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 that's my twin brother. That's what that's my twin brother from another month. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's me. That's me. And um, you know, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm honored as well to be part of this program. And either way, um, yes, that's me. Uh, like I say, I, I'm. I just love music. I think musical music is a universal language that is spoken by everybody and anybody and anywhere and everywhere around the world. If we all could sing anytime we are in disagreement, we will come up with a, one of the best choirs because all the emotions will be charged and all the notations. I think music is the way to go. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely true. Can you just tell us a little bit about those three pieces uh, you presented uh, just now? Um, not to take much time, really. The first song that I did was um, uh, "Go Go Light Your World." We know we what we're going through right now with our with our, our indigenous um, uh, our brothers and sisters, our first families of Canada. We really, we really, really. It's a painful time. It's a pain. It's a time which is we have to look at each other and look at and talk to each other, not past each other. It's a painful time, so we need to light our candles as we go into the world so that the, the, the world could see our light in us. And if there's darkness, light always per, always penetrates through darkness. That's the reason why. And the other one um, that I, uh, the song that I sang with uh, uh, Pata Pata, and anybody who comes from Southern Africa, they know Mama Miriam Makeba, which as a kid, I always, um, it, I always wanted her to be like, I wanted her, to, I thought she was my grandma at some point i always wanted it to be part of my family but you know i discovered that we were not related however musically and everything we i still owned it i still you know she 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 she's one of those people that when anytime she took a stage or microphone whether she spoke or sang she shook mountains and um uh, and also uh, the lion sleep tonight is a song that is known by pretty much everybody everybody and malaika it's a tanzanian song and it's a swahili song um it was written by a teacher actually and the history varies from one point to another or from one writer to another but it's about a beautiful malaika um you know the song is just one of those and i wish i could sing and pronounce it but i had to learn swahili for me to to to, to really sing those because i i told i didn't want to kind of uh, try to break the I, I'm, I do apologize if I kind of chewed some of the words there, but I just love the song Malaika. 
So that's the, those are the songs that I have. And again, I thought there would be uh, they, they they would make sense in this um, in this uh, multicultural uh, celebration because they cover a wide range. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you very much. That was very beautiful. Yeah. So uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, our very own uh, Cabello. And uh, Cabello, I'm going to give it uh, back to you now. Uh, you know. Those who know us as Africans, you know, we always have the drum, the, the ground, and the dance. So at this moment, we're going to usher you into some other part of celebration, which is uh, we will call uh, Marie, Marie Josien and crew. This is a dance group. It's a fusion of, um, uh, you know, I, I mean, I can find words to describe it, but it's a dance group that you know we're gonna call them off right now. We're gonna call them, call them, call them up on stage so that uh, we we can see what they have for us um, at this moment. We're gonna turn it to the uh, control room. Please give us uh, uh, Marie Josien and crew. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
ladies and gentlemen, that was Mary Josiane and crew. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, I could try that. I mean, for the next few, you know, a few seconds. And after that, I'll pass out because that's a workout on its own. But anyways, this is, a, did I see you there, or Omanola? Did I see you on stage? Yes, that was me. That was me. Um, yep. Can you can you let us know who is Marie Josiane? Can I say who is Marie Josiane? Marie Josiane is a, a friend of mine uh, from uh, Cameroon, and uh, she she came up with this idea of uh, you know getting together. Uh, you know we uh, we perform at uh, Taste of Africa, and uh, with this event, you know it can reach out to us and. Uh, and we were able to perform. It's actually funny because uh, our friend that is in the video, um, he's from Cuba, his name is Adrian and uh, Marie Josiane kind of recruited him. Uh, he was one of the uh, audience member at Taste of Africa that came in and danced with us. And she's like, oh, this guy is a kipper. And uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, and actually well, I'm just well, gonna tell was... you guys a little bit about uh, the dance that we just performed. It's called yes. Amasi Bay. And it's a, it's a dance that's from Douala in Cameroon. And it's a dance that's performed at weddings, um, baby naming, baby showers, engagement parties, born house. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's a song from uh, so a dance guys, from Cameroon. So do you guys as a group meet often or do you do anything other than just make videos like this. What else? Where are you guys going with this dance group? Well, is there anything that we need to know so that you call it to a probably anytime there's anything that call you upon? What exactly do you guys, where are you guys going with us? To be honest with you, like I said, you know, it's just, it was just something that, you know, Mary Josiane came up with. And to be honest with you, this uh, routine, we practice it. Uh, we had four, uh, four, four uh, rehearsals. When we met the first time, we did not have any routine at all. And in four rehearsals, so we were able to put this together. And uh, our friend Adrian only came to one rehearsal. So it just goes to show you, you know, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just about fun and then, you know, uh, having a good time. So yeah, we're just, we're just gonna try to, you know, maybe meet a little bit more often. And then, you know, if, you know, there's an event in the Calouet, you know, uh, we can always be, uh, people can reach out and, you know, we can perform. Ladies and gentlemen, that was multiculturalism on stage. As you saw, we traveled all the way to Douala, uh, Yaounde, and back. And we had Cubanos on stage as well. We had everybody here. Can I so just at this say, moment, can I say something to uh, Cabello? Yeah. It's just uh, one thing that I wanted to say is I'm from Togo. So it's a dance that I don't know because you know it's not a dance that's performed in Togo. And Adrian is from Cuba. So only Josiane and uh, Alessia are from Cameroon, but Alessia was born in Italy. So technically, you know, she's, uh, and grew up in Canada. So Josiane was the one that taught us, you know, uh, this routine. So it just goes to show, you know, the, the meaning of uh, multiculturalism, yes. <laughs> I, I I I would also I would also go and an ex, next an extra extent that I mean that was that sounded like United Nations right there on stage because I mean you talk about Italy Yaounde and all this and Canada and no that was United Nations ladies and gentlemen we will proceed at this moment we're gonna have the spoken word from uh, Wayme T Ellis um, if there is anything that you want you want it here at this moment I'm gonna call you to attention please. Please draw in and let's hear. Let's have uh, 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 Wayme T. Ellis um, at this moment. The spoken word, please. Hello, my name is Wayme Tea Ellis. I acknowledge that I am on Treaty 6 land. I honor the ancestors of this land and their descendants. I'm feeling very thankful to be here with you today as you tune in from your living rooms, homes or wherever you find yourself on this day and whatever time zone you're in, I'm so grateful to be together. I'm a solo mom of two beautiful girls. I'm also a musician and a wellness teacher. And today I'll be sharing a poem with you as an offering of reconciliation. It is called The Trees Know. Do you remember your childhood moments with Mother Earth? As a small child, maybe five years old, I would talk with the earth. I would lay on her belly on lazy warm days, 
sunlight on my eyelashes, cushioned by her warm grasses, her daughter in my blissful gaze. And I could feel her. She was a mystery, for yes, while her stories were whimsy and rapture, her sweet sunlit surface a place for my laughter, my toes in her mud, I danced in her reins, and she obliged through pain. A pain deep in her belly, a crack, a tear, a fracture, a strain. As a child, I would dream with my mother, my eyes blurry, gazing up at her trees while they swayed like weathered hands lift and fit together when they prayed. I didn't know her soul was frayed, cracked in a million fault lines, and the surge of angst could maybe swell the waters of disbelief, planting prayers buried deep in the roots for the hundreds of souls who may have danced in her shade. The trees know. The mother's belly has been deeply betrayed. She who has heard the cries of her children, cries for mercy, cries for relief, while her seasons kept turning and the incense was burning and the beauty was yearning. She who has held to her breast the prayers whispered into the night to quell this violence. Blossoms are bursting as her fragrance of abundance tries to comfort the silence. Today, I weep with Mother Earth. Will reconciliation bridge the divide, a gorge of truth as the mission runs dry? Is there a place in this place for a heart open wide? Such angst from yesterday and today, it's hard to see tomorrow. She will try to heal what has been wounded. She will weave and mend what the ancestors prayed for as we ask. How many stones have been tossed aside? How many places did the wisdom reside? She weeps, tears silent and still as dew at sunrise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was, that was uh, Weymati. And I see her online. I see her online. I'm gonna ask the control room, please bring her over. Please bring her over. I have a, a question for her. And um, I see her online um, right now. Uh, Wimiti, we just want to thank you very much uh, for that spoken word, for that poem. And um, are we ready there, uh, sound, Sandra? And uh, thank you. There she is. There she is. Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to, can you please greet the people, uh, the, the, um, our attendees today, Wimiti? Hello, greetings, and thank you for having me. It's very noisy where I am, I apologize, but I'm honored to be here with you all sharing in this moment of multiculturalism and artists who are beautiful. I wanted to dance with the dancers just before. Thank you very much. Would you kind of let us know who you are? Who is Weimiti, where are you from? Or um, which treaty are you part of? Or where, which part of Canada are you? are you at right now so that we we kind of have an idea thank you for that so my name is way matea ellis i live in edmonton alberta on treaty six land i was born here at charles Campbell university hospital and my parents are uh from trinidad as you know through african ancestry and my and also through irish and scottish ancestry from moncton new brunswick uh, I wasn't sure if that answered your full question, but I'm also just my, I am a solo mom and I am a former school teacher and I play music and enjoy community. Thank you so very kindly. Without, um, as a word of closing right now, is there anything that you'd like to let us know? What does multiculturalism mean for you and what does it entail to you? Mm, I love that question. Um, I have felt very blessed to be of, um, a, a mixed ancestry. I feel that um, I hold the multiple lines in my lineage, in my body, in my in my in my heart, in my deeds in the in the world. Um, so growing up in Canada uh, as a you know as a visible minority, it has been really valuable to me that the that our country historically has encouraged to a certain degree um, the the people retain their customs their food their practices their faith um, i know that that is a very deep 
conversation that could be had about whether or not that's real, but I feel like the more we can do to continue to forward that, at, um, it, the more that our children are rooted where the, you know they bloom, they bloom where they're planted. Even although we are, you know, we are all on land that we know the history is that you know I'm a I'm a person that came here from other places, but I'm I'm grateful that we get to celebrate each other's diversity. Thank you very much, Wemiti. And if anybody wants to uh, know more about her, her, her website is uh, www.wemiti.com. And if you go on the Aiken Facebook page, you'll get more information about her. At this moment, I'll just want to turn it over to uh, to Omanola. And uh, we just want to thank you very much, Wemiti. Thank you very much for blessing us and gracing us with your spoken word and your, 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 your vision and who you are. And thank you very much again. We can't stop uh, thanking you. Thank you very much. I'm honored. Yes, thank you. you um, it's Wemiti. Yes, hi, uh, Cabello. Hello, uh, I hope everybody's uh, still in tune with us. Uh, everyone is enjoying the show so far. Uh, now we are going to um, meet another uh, Inuk artist. Uh, her name is uh, Colleen Nakashuk. She's known as uh, Asiva, and uh, she has. Um, a beautiful rendition. She uses the ukulele to uh, play her music. So without further ado, uh, let's welcome Mrs. Uh, Colleen Nakashuk. Unlokot, asipa nakaseuvunga, ekalun nimu itaoloktunga manna. Hello, my name is Asiba Nakasuk. I currently live in Ikaluit, Nunavut. Thank you so much for asking me to participate in this incredible event. The song that I'm going to play is called Play in the Snow. Koyinnamig. Thank you very much. That was uh, uh, Colleen uh, Nakash. That was Asiva. 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 That's her. That's her stage name. That's her name. She goes by. And at this moment, at this moment, we are staying in Ikaluit here. There is a man. A man I would like 
to uh, bring it on stage at this moment. Uh, his name is Doug Barr. Um, this gentleman is um, is based he, currently. He's based here in Howard. I've gotten to know him within a, a short period of time on different angles, and I've worked with him. He's a fun guy. He's a music lover. The gentleman is talented. He is a recording artist. He's a singer, songwriter. He's recently actually signed a record deal in Phoenix, um, Arizona. This I, I'm not going to say much. I'll let him take over the stage at this moment. Mr. Dagba, it's all yours. We're turning over to you. Please grace us, greet the, greet the people and grace us. Thank you, Cabello. Thank you, everybody. Hello, everybody. We're having a great festival here tonight. It's great to see you all virtually. And I would like to offer four of my original songs tonight. I've uh, had a fairly long musical career. So I've got quite a large catalog of songs. Some have been co covered by other artists. And as Cabela said, um, a few of them have just been signed recently. But I, what I would like to do, I've chosen four songs tonight and I'm going to go with my, trust, my friend's trusty guitar. And I'm gonna play one of the older ones. Now I don't have anything that uh, is reminiscent of uh, Caribbean or African or um, Inuit styles of music, unfortunately, but I do have something that's kind of samba. And I thought it might be fun to play an old one from my catalog and I'm going to just follow that by something a little more, but this is, my songs have separated into basically songs of love and loss. But I also like to focus on lyrics, political, not so much political, but topical, let's put it that way, and environmental. The album that I released with my band in 2015 was fairly environmental, called Too Far From The Water. But this is called With My Heart. summer night I thought I saw a shadow there a glimpse or just a wisp of hair did I make her create her from the start did I dream her or have I seen her with my heart mountain Ocean meadow, field and stream, the prettiest girl I've ever seen is just a future memory. If only I could let it be. Did I make her create her from the start? Did I dream her? Or have I seen her with my heart? How much longer must I wander in this shadow land before she answers to the sun's command? How much longer must I wander in this before she reaches out her little hand Don't worry, I'll be back before first light Seems I just can't sleep tonight Perhaps a walk might do me good If I could forget her, I would Did I make 
maker, creator from the start. Did I dream her, or have I seen her with my heart? Did I make her, create her from the start? Did I dream her, or have I seen her with my Kind of an older romantic ballad from some time ago. Now, I'd like to follow that up, if I may, with something more recent. Um, this song I wrote, I believe I might have even written this song up here in Iqaluit. Can't quite recall. This is called Wound of Love. It goes like this. Quite a different style. you will never ever do me harm will you guarantee protection from above or inflict upon me the wound of love fragrance and affection perfume and desire Will you let me down? Will you take me higher? Should I take your hand, accept your lace and glove, and expose myself to the wound of love? Everybody knows the wound of love. Nobody can hurt you now. Maybe now's the time you've held up so long maybe she's the one remember you took a vow maybe she'll be kind maybe I'll be strong this Outside, there's not a sound. Temperature is rising, something's going down. Fire down below, an arrow from above. Look out, boy, here comes the wound of love. Everybody knows the wound of love. Nobody can hurt you now. Maybe now's the time. You've held out for us so long Maybe she's the one Remember you took a vow Maybe she'll be kind Maybe I'll be strong this time Promise you will never ever do me harm. Will you guarantee protection from above or inflict upon me the wound of love? Everybody knows the wound of love. Everybody knows the wound of love. Wound of love. It's 
It's kind of strange playing for an audience that you can't really see or hear, but I know you're all out there. I hope you're enjoying the music. Here's something that I recorded on my album in 2015 called, the short version is it's called Us. But the long version is there's less of you and more of us. Us being the, the sensitive people, the thinking people, the people that want to share love and support versus the greedies and the 1%. And I just want them to know there's more of us than there is of you. So the song goes like this. Pray to whatever God you must hope you can find when you can trust there's less of you and more of us. Friday night up in the penthouse, the fault is losing time. Party time, it's fairy dust. Don't look down the rail, my bus. There's less of you and more of us. Baby, I ain't lying. There's children out there dying. How much do you really need? You know. But your money makes you lazy Better follow if you're too afraid to lead I don't stress and I don't worry No, I don't rush and I don't hurry It's plain to see it's obvious The dam's too high gonna bust the less of you and more of us baby I ain't lying there's children out there dying how much do you really need you know I ain't crazy but your money makes you lazy better follow if you're too afraid to lead a sweet jesus god almighty apollo zeus and aphrodite pray to whatever god you must remember you're no genius the less of you and more of us the less of you and more of us the less of you and more of us and that's called us for anybody that might be interested my music is available on my album too far from the water it's available on itunes so look for doug bar and the blast too far from the water this last song i'd like to sing is my most recent song that i've written and recorded it's a song i'm rather proud of but i do want to say a few things about it it um uh, it's an environmental song, and it's named after a man by the name of Arthur Gunn, a man who lived in 1915, and he was hired by the war ministry in England to create a poster that would make men feel guilty about not signing up for the war and doing their part. You've probably seen the poster, two children sitting at the feet of their father, 
and they say, what did you do in the war, daddy? Well, I think there's a war going on now to save our environment. And I think our children will someday be sitting at our feet saying, what did you do when you could have? So this song is called Arthur Gunn in 1915. If you YouTube that title, you'll see the official recording and the official YouTube for this song, Arthur Gunn in 1915, goes like this. <laughs> This question from my son What did you do when you had the chance? Did you stand or run? Daddy, did you fight for me? For a place to live and breathe Did you do the right thing? to believe what did you do in the eco war daddy before the damage was done what did you do in the eco war daddy you can call They marched in the pouring rain Rubber bullets, tear gas, ambulances The wounded carried off by the insane That turning point in history When that moment finally comes The window slowly closes What more could you have done? did you do in the eco war daddy before the damage was done what did you do in the eco war daddy you can call All I buried here Microchips and surgical pins Worth the souvenirs Maybe they will find our bones In 10,000 years Who were they? What were they like? Why did they disappear? Arthur Gunn in 1915. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the music. Cabello, thank you for emceeing for us. And thank you to all. And to all, a good night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Doug Barr.
um, that's the, the, the dark bar and the blast. So you can find him on uh, darkbarandtheblast.com. That's his website. And uh, he has a few videos. I've gone on his website. I've seen his work. And I've actually the first time I saw him, I saw him live. He was playing at the corner, the little corner. Um, and uh, next time, and then we bumped into each other. And I said, I remember you from there. That's how we, uh, you see, I mean, the world, the world, the world has a lot to celebrate. We can celebrate each other's diversity and each other's uh, our talents and each other just for being uh, diverse people. We have more that binds us together than what separates us. And he's a very, very, very talented uh, man. And Marlene Springer also is kind of chiming in online. They saying, uh, Doug, you're very talented. And um, I've known him for very long. And, you know, everybody is just thinking right now. I'm looking online right now. Gail Smith, he loves the music, uh, Doug, and amazing. That's from Marielle Main and beautiful uh, from Josiane Na. And, you know, everybody is uh, chiming in, Doug, for all your work. And thank you very much. We can't wait. We can't wait for the next for the next show. This one is going to be live, and you're going to be on stage. And really, really, this is amazing. At this moment, we're going to cross over. We're going to cross over to uh, a Cuban Cuban act. Um, right now, uh, right now, these guys, uh, these guys are waiting on stage, and, and and you know, from like we told you, it's 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 a buffet. It's a buffet. Sit back and watch. We are right, right, taking the last curve, the last corner. And please sit in, sit in. We're just about uh, to, 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 to end our show. And again, would like to thank um, the Culture and Heritage. Would like to thank Honorable uh, Minister Nakashuk. And we want to thank uh, uh, your worship, Mayor Kenny Bell, for gracing us with your presence. And would like to thank Heritage Canada for supporting this um, event. Would like to thank Aiken for really having this. And we'd like to thank the team behind this. You know, everybody now, right now is taking, uh, is seeing us, you know, on the spotlight uh, with my friend, Omanola. They don't understand the other people behind the scenes here. I would not mention yeah, them by name because I know one of them would not like it. But thank you guys for working hard for all the glitches and niches and everything. And everybody for tuning in and also working with our network as and our bandwidth out here of Nunavut. At this Absolutely. moment, um, I don't know, Omanola, is there something you want to say? No, no, no. I'm just, uh, you know, just in agreement with you, you know, to thank all the people in the background that we don't see, but that, you know, are doing all the work. You know, I want to give a shout out to the board of ACAN who has worked tirelessly behind the scene, uh, you know, to make this event possible. I want to thank Cabello, who, you know, has helped us from day one, you know, with uh, your uh, ideas and then, you know, your smart, your uh, wisdom, uh, you know, it's really much appreciated. You know, I want to uh, give a shout out to Justin, uh, who is behind the scene. He's at the dark. He's like a ghost, but, you know, doing all the legwork, you know, you appreciate it. Thank you so much. And um, the sound room just told me that uh, the Cuban act has landed. The limousine has already, it's already in the corner and they are on stage. So, you know, without further ado, I think uh, they're ready Let's to go. perform. All Let's right. do it. Let's go to the Cuban movements. Hello, people of Akalawit. Hola, mi gente. Aquí Leo González and Amalia Cameron for Cuba Movement Dance Academy. We are so pleased to have been invited by ACAN to participate in this wonderful event for the Virtual Multicultural Music Festival. We are so excited for you guys to see all the other um, entertainment and performers such as ourselves. Nos vemos. Thank you. Agua. Hola, mi nombre es Leo González and soy el director de la compañía Cuba Movement Dance School Academy. Uh, this is my beautiful corner. This is my pareja hermosa, Amalia Cameron. So, quiero explicarle hoy un poquito acerca de la historia del baile de Cuba. So, tenemos la mezcla de los españoles, porque Cuba estuvo colonizada por los españoles y trajeron en contra de su voluntad a esclavos africanos a nuestras tierras. Um, a través de ahí, los africanos eh, empezaron a crear estos tipos de de bailes eh, en nuestras tierras uh, y también trajeron su tradición africana de los dioses que ellos querían o invocaban a través cuando podían ser eh, celebrar eh, en sus momentos libres. Entonces a través de aquí empezaron a crear todos estos ritmos, estos bailes como rituales y uh, forma también de, de sentirse libres. Entonces a través de aquí empieza a nacer esta rica cultura que tenemos en Cuba 
y evidentemente a través de ahí salieron muchísimos bailes, pero podemos decir que esto es la madre de nuestras raíces eh, de bailes en Cuba. And now in English. So like he said, this is Leo Gonzalez. He is the director of Cuban Movements Dance Academy. Here we are. My name is Amalia, and we'll be explaining to you a little bit about the history of uh, Afro-Cuban dance. So Afro-Cuban dance has a long history and its, and, its, and its origins are from Africa and Spain. Now, when Africans were taken to Cuba against their will, and became slaves, they started creating these old these dances in Cuba where they were able to express themselves. The one that we're going to be showing you today is rumba, and we can say that this is the mother of salsa. Okay, so vamos a hacer el paso de la rumba. We are going to do the rumba step, okay? So we're going to go and we'll start with the muelle, with the bouncing going up and down, and we can repeat this with the time. So we go one, Three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. There we go. Keeping this one here, we're gonna open and close side to side, keeping the count, right? And this rhythm going down. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Again, open to the right. So one, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. Good job. Now, for the ladies, we're gonna have Movement of your hips, okay? As we go side to side, you're gonna be moving your hips side to side at the same time. Not for the boys, only for the girls. Let's try. E, one, three, five, seven. Open, one, three, five, seven, and one, three, five, seven. Awesome, okay. Now, we're gonna add the hands. Hands, very important. So you want to pretend that you're carrying a baby. So don't open your elbows and just kind of fall down and drop. So you don't want to do that. You have to keep your elbows open, but still relax. So don't, don't, don't tie. So we're going to add this to the step. There we go. E. One, three, five, set. And one, three, one more time. E. One, three, five, seven. And one, three, five, seven. There you go, now you're doing your rumba stack. Congratulations. Nos vemos.
that was amazing. Thank you to the Cuban Movement Dance Academy. That was uh, very, very nice. Uh, now we are going to introduce another artist. Uh, his name is uh, Abel Maxwell. Uh, originally from Togo in West Africa, Abel lived in France for many years before moving to uh, Toronto in 2007. Uh, Abel is a songwriter uh, in the uh, Afro uh, Francophone Afro music uh, circle. Uh, he has become a UNESCO award winning artist and uh, has been uh, recognized as a Canadian best selling author. To date, Abel has uh, four albums and he has over 1 million um, followers. Originaire de l'Afrique de l'Ouest uh, Togo, Abel a quitté la France après plusieurs années et puis c'est. Uh, a émigré vers à Toronto en 2007. Abel a à son titre quatre albums, plus de 1 million de fans sur les réseaux sociaux et euh, l'un des euh, je veux dire des choses qui tiennent à cœur à Abel c'est d'aller engager les les jeunes surtout et leur euh, demander d'être résilients surtout pendant euh, ce moment de la pandémie de la Covid-19. Um, Abel has really encouraged youth uh, uh, in Ontario and then you know like uh, whenever he's you know had the chance to connect with youth to just encourage them and then you know uh, motivate them to be more resilient especially you know during the COVID-19 pandemic. So without further ado we are going to uh, listen to uh, Mr. Maxwell. Hey yo Max, it's time to celebrate. C'est la fête, on va célébrer. Mon ami, on va célébrer. Même si tout n'est pas parfait, dans la ville faut célébrer. This is the time to celebrate. My friend, we gotta celebrate. I know things might not look so great, but we gotta celebrate. Celebrate, 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 oh, celebrate, celebrate, oh, we gotta celebrate. Celebrate, 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 oh, celebrate, celebrate, oh, on va celebrate. Pourquoi se détresse, mon ami, oh? Dans la vie, faut pas trop s'inquiéter, oh. C'est une peux pas tout contrôler oh. Mais ta confiance en celui qui est là-haut Et tu es un miracle Malgré tous tes obstacles Tu es un miracle La vie n'est qu'un voyage Comme le soleil à son lever Tu peux te relever, tu vas s'arranger Faut pas abandonner, persévérer Il faut continuer d'avancer À son lever, tu peux te relever Tu vas s'arranger, faut pas abandonner All your worries will go away Will you smile and celebrate C'est la fête, on va célébrer Mon ami, on va célébrer Comment ça va aujourd'hui tout le monde Faut bouger les mains comme ça Hey, This is the time to celebrate My friend, we gotta celebrate I know things might not look so great Celebrate, 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 oh, celebrate, celebrate, oh, we gotta celebrate, 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 oh, celebrate, celebrate, oh, on va célébrer. C'est pas facile d'affronter tous ces problèmes, oh, quand tout va mal, il faut garder la tête en haut. Comment trouver la joie, la paix dans tous ces mots En toi se trouve la force dont tu as besoin Et tu es un miracle Malgré tous tes obstacles Tu es un miracle Il n'est qu'un voyage Comme le soleil à son lever Tu peux te relever, tu vas s'arranger Faut pas abandonner, persévérer Il faut continuer d'avancer Comment ça va tout le monde Bougez les mains all your worries will go away Put your smile and celebrate C'est la fête, on va célébrer Mon ami, on va célébrer Même si tout n'est pas parfait Dans la vie, il faut célébrer This is the time to celebrate My friend, we gotta celebrate I know things might not look so great Celebrate, 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 oh, we gotta celebrate, 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 oh, celebrate, celebrate, oh, on va celebrate. Faut faire du bruit maintenant, wouhou C'est le moment de danser Montrez-moi vos mains comme ça, bougez les mains. Et 
Maintenant, faites du bruit. Hello, my beautiful people from Iqaluit and all over Nunavut. I am so excited to do this show for you. And um, we are celebrating diversity, inclusion, multiculturalism. In Canada, I am so excited for this show. I hope you enjoy it, even though the songs are in French. Enjoy it, have fun, keep dancing. See you soon. Enjoy the next song. D'Adam et Ève Dans le jardin d'Éden C'était le bonheur Du vin la trahison à cause du fruit du péché Chérie, nous souffrons toi et moi Dieu a créé l'homme De l'homme est venu la femme C'était l'histoire d'Adam et Ève Dans le jardin d'Éden C'était le bonheur Du vin la trahison du fruit du péché, chérie, nous souffrons toi et moi. Même si ton pied, mon pied, oh ma belle, tu dois être sage. Puisque pour l'éternité nous sommes unis, tu dois être sage. Même si ton pied, mon pied, oh ma belle, tu dois être sage. Puisque pour l'éternité nous sommes unis, tu dois être sage. Cette pomme d'Éden Que tu m'avais donné Que nous avions mangé ensemble Toi et moi Je ne t'en veux pas Oh ma belle Pour cette pomme d'Éden Que tu m'avais donné Que nous avions mangé ensemble Toi et moi Aimé, aimé Tu es à moi Je suis à toi Les amis, voici pour favor pour vous. Hey, 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 oh. Tout a commencé par un regard, et puis un peu après, un pas vers moi. Tranquille dans mon coin avec mes gars, célébrant la vie et nos exploits. Essayant de lire dans son regard, pourquoi ces tristesse qui l'empare, marchant dans le vide le désespoir. Tout doucement, elle murmure, pour favor, pour favor. Ta lumière intérieure t'emmènera vers un grand bonheur et te guidera. Sous 
Et de ton cœur elle le saura Tout doucement elle murmure pour papa Chantez avec moi Plus fort en bougeant les mains cette fois-ci Au creux de l'oreille, elle dit tout bas Elle me confie son bonheur et sa joie À l'horizon, le rêve qu'elle voulait voir Mais la tristesse en parle de son histoire Cou et bleu sur l'âme, sur son visage Un tableau peint de drame, voici l'image Sans dire un mot, je comprends le message Et tout doucement, elle murmure Comment ça va Hey Si ça va, faire du bruit ta lumière intérieure t'emmènera Vers un grand bonheur elle te guidera Souhait de ton cœur elle le saura Tout doucement elle murmure pour sa
beautiful people from Ikaluit, Nunavut. Are you still enjoying yourself? Are you okay? Are you dancing? Are you smiling? I have so much love for you. I hope I can come there one day and perform live. Right now, we're almost at the end of the COVID and one day we'll be together. So right now, enjoy yourself. Enjoy this song. I'm here with you. See you soon. Tout ce qu'elle fait, je peux pas le décrire en simple mot. Elle me donne envie de chanter simple chose. Ou bien le chanter ma chérie à Ce qu'elle me fait ressentir, j'ai tant de mal à te dire. Ce que mon cœur aspire. Je ne peux pas le décrire On tape dans les mains, on tape dans les mains, on tape dans les mains hey, 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 hey. Oh. Tout ce qu'elle fait, je ne peux pas le décrire en simple mot Donne envie de chanter sa chose Bien lui chanter, marcher, les amours. J'ai voulu me résigner, mais je ne peux pas m'éloigner. Mais grâce à toi, oh baby, baby. même le bonheur me suit. Hey, 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 hey. On tape dans les mains, on tape dans les mains. Hey, hey. Tout le monde hey. Tout ce qu'elle fait Je peux pas le décrire en simple mot Elle me donne envie de chanter simple chose Ou bien de chanter marcher à mort J'ai deux mots à vous dire Hey, what's on your mind Make me lose control Make me lose my French Beauté naturelle pour couleur miel, t'es en chevalier avec la mer, me donne envie de passer au dessert, t'es court de langue. Hey, je porte les plombs, je porte le son, ligne mort. Hey, je veux qu'on me faire le show, on va se poser. Hey, je suis permanent avec la Batman, je sais que t'es prêt, je suis sous l'entrée de ta beauté, t'en convoiter, va s'envoiter pour les déboîter, on fait du bruit. Ouh Chanter simple chose, yeah. Et puis chanter, marcher, les amours. On tape dans les mains maintenant. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, vas-y. 1, 2, 3, c'est facile. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, hey. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, hey. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, plus fort. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, hey, hey. Tout le monde, hey. My beautiful people from Akan, Nunavut, my people, I'm from Amikaluit, I'm from Nunavut, I'm stuck in here, come get me. <laughs> so listen, this next song, it's Courage. The title is Courage in French, but we say Courage. Uh, I wrote this song because we go through hardship, we go through hard times, hard stuff, and we need courage to endure. And I hope this song inspires somebody to keep rising to be that rose rising from concrete that is here my sign here the flower you are a flower i'm a flower we are flowers that are rising from concrete because we have courage and we are triumphant and we are courageous and we are succeeding my people from akanunavut enjoy this song see you in a bit oh. 
danser malgré l'adversité Foncez mes vouloir tout balancer Avec l'énergie d'un premier souffle Et rebondir en rigueur Pourtant je sais que t'es fatigué Mais tu ne te promets pas sombrer Tout au fond d'un piège camouflé Tu veux tirer un trait sur le passé Le passé, c'est le passé Reste pas dans le passé Maintenant, faut avancer Quand la lumière s'est fermée, malgré la nuit qui t'envahit, garde dans ton cœur un peu d'espoir. Tu verras les étoiles briller. Un nouveau jour va se lever. Le passé, c'est le passé. Ne reste pas dans le passé. Maintenant, faut avancer. Garde le courage d'accepter de tourner la page. Garde le courage d'affronter la tempête. Tout 
Tous les mains, il faut bouger, bouger Tous les mains, il faut danser Eh, 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 eh Tous les mains, il faut danser, danser Tous les mains, il faut bouger, bouger Tous les mains, il faut danser Eh, 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 eh Ah, tu veux bien aller Je sais que tu veux bien aller T'en fais pas, t'en fais pas, tu veux bien aller Je sais que tu veux bien aller T'en fais pas, t'en fais pas, tu veux bien aller Je sais que tu veux bien aller T'en fais pas, t'en fais pas, tu veux bien aller Je sais que tu veux bien aller having fun are you dancing are you moving your hands are you dancing i see you i see you you're dancing i see you and i love that so uh i'm so excited for this show i hope you're having fun i hope you are uh you're smiling all right we're celebrating this beautiful day of diversity of multiculturalism in canada it's virtual but we're still having fun all right, my name is Abel Maxwell, and I hope to connect with you very, very soon. Thank you so much for being with me today. See you soon. Wow.
Nice to see you guys. Wow. <laughs> wow. It was amazing. It was Thank amazing. So Abel, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup pour la... merci pour l'invitation. Thank you so much for this beautiful organization, this beautiful show. I want to come there. I want to come. I want to come and perform live. I want to come. Absolutely. Let's... After Absolutely. the COVID, let's make it happen. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the plan. That's the plan. Abel, uh, je voulais m'excuser. I want to apologize uh, for the um, for for the quality of the video because uh, due to the bandwidth here in the north, uh, our technician had to compress your video because we know the video you sent was a high definition. However, uh, it wasn't playing because you know of the bandwidth, so they had to compress it to be oh. able to you know show it. So we want to apologize to you and to our viewers for the quality of the uh, the video, but you know, that was the last resort that we could do. So, but you know, even with that, uh, the music was just flowing through my vein. I'm not gonna speak to my co-host uh, Cabello, but I could see him shaking his head, even though, you know, he thought I couldn't see him. I could see you shaking your head <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't stay still. So, you know, I had to get up and dance because, you know, when I hear good music, I gotta, I gotta dance. So thank you so much, uh, Abel. Thank you so much well, for having well, me. Well, 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 look who is <laughs> in the house. People, let me tell you something. If you don't know who this man is, this man is the powerhouse. <laughs> this guy is a fashion fashion icon. He is a producer. He's a writer. He is a, a, an entrepreneur. He is a speaker. I mean, he 
this guy, he wears so many coats that I don't know. We are blessed and we are honored to have you, Mr. Maxwell. Let me tell you, I met this man way back, way, way back in Toronto. I think it was a year or two when you just came in and he was at a musical conference and we became friends since then. And this is the guy who introduced me to Beef, uh, to beef Bourguignon. I still remember that. And... <laughs> You know, uh, but, but, but we, I also had the honor of working with him musically, a few uh, at the Upstairs Jazz in Montreal, and also uh, some, some of my events in Ottawa, uh, at the Jazz in the Gardens, uh, right at the, um, at the Prime Minister's residence, uh, at, the, at the High Commission. I mean, this gentleman is a multi-talented. There's a story that I got that when he, they called him back to go to France to go and play at a hall, and he thought he was just going to be kind of raising, kind of raising for somebody because he was advertised in is it Chanel France, and um, he was advertised and he had no idea who this artist was going to be after him. And when he got there, the hall was full, and he was live on Chanel France. And he's a classic piano player, people, and he's a dancer too. He's a chore choreographer. So he, this guy, we have music royalty in the house for those who don't know him right. when he steps foot in Nunavut in Iqaluit here make sure you attend make sure you attend because this guy here this guy is my brother he's my brother from another mother we we know we we, we go way back he's he knows my ups and my downs I this guy has been a brother and at, at, at Cafe Paradiso we're playing the oh man I, I can go on and on Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. Aiken, you just reunited me with my brother. <laughs> so tell me, Abel, what's in store for you? What's in store for you? What is Abel doing? I mean, COVID, COVID has put everybody away and everybody in, in, in closure. What, uh, what, is, what are you working on? I'm still trying to inspire and I'm working on my fifth album. I'm working on, uh, on a movie as well at the moment oh, wow. for Canada Day that's going to be out in Canada 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 Day you can follow like if you can if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook you'll have you know you, you'll be you'll be filled in um you know I'm working on several projects that are really exciting I can't wait to share with you but uh mostly on uh, on my songs and um you know I'm out here and um I'm doing my best to to keep people uh, smiling, encouraged, and inspired. I can just ask him one or two questions, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, uh, Abel. I just want to quickly ask you if you could just uh, you know give us your uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram uh, just quickly. Sure. So on Twitter is uh, abelmax twitter dot com slash abel maxwell. Facebook is facebook.com slash Abel Maxwell Inspirations. And then Instagram, if you go on Instagram, you, you search Abel Maxwell, I'm the first one, and you will see me. So instagram.com slash Abel Maxwell. I can put it in the chat right after. Can you please, yeah, can you please put it in the I chat? Will. That's awesome. And, and you know, once COVID, COVID is out of the way and uh, everything is open again, I'm telling you, you got to come up north. Because you got to bring that. that energy up here. I would love, I would love to meet my people from Ikaru. <laughs> <laughs> would would Mr. like Cabello, to thank you again you? for your time. We, I, I, honestly, I can go on and talking about this guy and with this guy, but we just want to thank you very much for gracing us with everything. And we see other people tuning in and, uh, and we still have... Um, uh, uh, people online with us. We just want to thank you. This was our last and our last and final curtain closing act. And with none other than Mr. Abel Maxwell himself, this man, check him out. Check him out on, on, on all his handles, on, uh, on all his social media um, uh, uh, accounts. This guy is something else. This guy is like, I'm telling you, what you just saw here is nothing. The amount of energy, <laughs> skill, knowledge this guy comes with. Pose and composure as well. I mean, I could go on and on, but I just want to say thank you very much for gracing us and thank you very much, Aiken. And I can't wait to see you in person, Abel, in Nunavut. I would love to come. Yes, I would I, love uh, to come. Yeah, go ahead. 
I would love to come and uh, hopefully we get vaccinated and uh, everybody's like, <laughs> and then this COVID goes away and, um, and then I'll be there, I'll be with you and celebrating with you, having a show, you know, hugging everybody, eating, eating together and, you know, doing stuff together. I would love that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much again. We've come right to the end, right to the end and the end of our show. And we'd like to thank you all who attended and would like to thank all our artists. Would like to thank uh, Ms. Francesca Mande, um, uh, Brenda Anderson. Would like to thank Mr. Jeff Peacock, Wayme T. Alice, with the Afro the, 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 uh, uh, Marie Josiane and the Afro Dance crew, Asiva, I would like to thank uh, Doug Bar. We thank you very much, the Cuban movement, and Mr. Abel Maxwell himself. And uh, also, would like to thank his on, uh, the Honorable Minister of uh, Culture and Heritage, Ms. Uh, Nakashuk, and his worship, uh, Mayor Kenny Bell. And would you have a few words to close us out, my friend Omanola? Yes, I would also like to uh, thank our sponsors, uh, the Department of Culture and Heritage of the Government of Nunavut. Uh, also thank uh, Heritage Canada. And, uh, you know, shout out to uh, all our people behind the scene that had made, you know, this uh, event uh, possible. And uh, I would also like to thank my co-host, uh, Cabello Mokoena. It has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you. I hope we get to do this again. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much again. Everybody, everybody, we can't wait again to Aiken. Aiken would like to thank you for this Canadian Multicultural Day celebration. And I know we went past time, you know, time flies when having fun. And we'd like to thank you. Thank you again. We can't wait to see what you have in store. And we can't thank you enough. We can't thank you for all who tuned in. All the, um, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see who are, we're gonna go on our handle right there and let's hear, let's hear from our people right there. Uh, Maddie White, thank you so much. Mbonisi, thank you. Thank you, Abel, thank you. Thank you, Francesca Mandea. We thank you again. People are talking about you right now and we are here. Thank you very much for giving us that, um, that uh, internal or that, that, that information about the mirror and the music and your music as well. We just want to thank everybody. And want to give a shout out this to, is uh, the end, people. Wanna, yeah, we just want to give Go a ahead. shout out to Adrian Alder, uh, Judy Siswa, Kirsten Siswa, Alessia, all the people that are still uh, tuned in. Thank you so much to Mr. Webb and Mrs. Tracy Webb. Thank you. Want to give a shout out to the acting president, Mr. Bacon. And uh, a shout out to our guy behind the scene, uh, Justin and Goom, the sound text. We could not have pulled this album without you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Did we'll we see forget you on the anybody, next event? Uh, very soon, no, very soon. We're, we're just waiting for COVID. Yes, COVID we'll be soon, seeing you know, so we can actually event. be together. <laughs> Maddie White, Maddie White, we can see you, Marlene Springer. Brenda Montana and the Jovus, we can see you out there. We see you guys tuning in. And this is the end. Sufiso Nobella, Nobella from Ottawa. We thank you very much. That's my brother there from South Africa. He's tuned in. And Langa, Roy, Flo, uh, we thank you guys. Thank you very much no, for tuning no, in and supporting. Have yourself a wonderful. Sorry? Yeah, so we're going to give a shout out to Florian Nadiu. We see you. Rachel Walujale, uh, I see you. Judith Walujale, I see you. Ren Nononsa, if you are tuning, I'm seeing you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can the sound room bring everybody? Can you just bring everybody on the main? On the main, so let's see who is still there and and for people to wave. Can you bring everybody? Are you able to bring everybody We're gonna on the main? We're going to give a shout uh, out also, um, my friend uh, Cabello. Let's give a shout out to uh, Pamela. I'm believing that's Pamela Ngoa, but I'm not sure. Shout out to uh, Roy. Shout out to Nobela. Shout out to Rowena. I see uh, Dovulu, so I'm guessing it's Rowena or Sal. We see you guys. Thank you so much for uh, connecting with us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Maddie, Maddie you. White. Maddie White is tuning in from Moscow. We do have somebody from oh, Russia wow. tuned in. That's Maddie White. <laughs> 
Just Amazing. saying, tuning in from Moscow. And Judy, Judy Wall from, that's in the USA Maryland. family. I don't know if, uh, yeah, that's your family in the USA. And well, Camilla. thank you very much, Aiken. Thank you. Camila, I see you. <laughs> well, I, I mean, we can go on and on. I think we're we, done we right can now. We can go on and on. Thank, thank you, you very so much. very much. God bless you. And let's just continue to lift each other up. Josiane Nga, thank you. Langa, I see you. Thank you so much. Mbonisi, thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. My friend Cabello, it was a pleasure and an honor. <laughs> My pleasure as well. Same to you. Thank you very much. And have a good night. And everybody who attended, and we thank you. Thank you again. We will be in touch. See you on the next event. Thank you. Absolutely. Sandra, you can close us out. Thank you.